Okay, good morning. This is a video of our cat new catalog, page 13. As you can see here, we've added some new super large ultra spiral bulbs. At the top of the page, we've got the 65, 85, and 100 watts, 105 watt spirals. And these come in both a uh, medium and a mogul size um, base. So double check with your customers. Make sure that they have either a medium base socket or a mogul base socket. Um, as well, you can always double check color temperature. For these big ones, usually the cool white and the daylight are, are the most popular. We've had some success with these um, bulbs replacing you know, traditional metal halide, even 175 and 250 watt metal halide bulbs in parking garages or um, post tops. The, the lumen counts are maybe not the same, but um, you know, the, the light definitely seems to be uh, just as bright. You know, the metal halide will depreciate the lumen over time, where the fluorescent will stay bright for a long time. And actually, what the eye can see, these fluorescent lumens seem to be a little bit more powerful. And so, yeah, you can take a 65 or an 85 and definitely replace it for like a 175 or, or a 250 metal halide or for sure high pressure sodium, which is a yellow light. Be careful as well, again, like I said, on the medium and mogul base. And also these bulbs range, if you see the length and diameter, they range from 9 to like 11 or 12 inches. So just make sure it's going to fit in the fixture that the customer is, is buying these units for. At the bottom of the page, I've got the actual base sizes, uh, the standard base or the mogul base, so your customer could compare just to make sure. And then I also have the GU24 twist spirals. This is a uh, new twist lock base called the GU24. As you can see the picture on the bottom left corner and it's a self-ballasted bulb available from 9 to 26 watt, generally in a, in a warm color temperature. These are very popular in California but they're becoming more and more popular with fixture manufacturers and they're a great bulb to sell our custom customer because they're maybe not as readily available as the traditional screw-in screw in spirals. These were created you know, for utility and other rebate purposes so once fixtures with this sort of twist lock base are purchased you can't really put an incandescent bulb back in there. Not that that's a concern anymore really in most cases but this would alleviate that. Uh, finally I think that would be everything we need to cover here. These bulbs come six in a case. I do have the approximate incandescent wattage that the large spirals will replace and we'll begin stocking more of these soon. Thank you.